Hey, 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 everyone, you EBS2 Hub here, and in this battle, as you can see, we have the dense jungle landscape, which is perfect because this is a recreation of the Pacific Theater in World War II. We have about a half million American soldiers on Team 1 versus a half million Japanese soldiers on Team 2, and they are spread out across a battlefield numerous different lines here i try to make it so that it wasn't just like you know two lines of people and that was it this is pretty damn spread out and we should hopefully see a pretty good fight because of course the japanese have their bolt action arasaka rifles which have a lot of damage per hit but the americans have their faster firing tommy guns which are a bit better in terms of fire rate but of course do a little bit less damage so i said let's go ahead and start this thing out these guys will have to run towards each other in order to actually meet so i am very interested to see exactly what happens here but it looks like we may already have a large contingent of american forces running the other way not entirely sure no one has died yet though so let's go zoom down here on the Americans and see exactly what starts to happen. Okay, they are starting to experience some fire. Not a ton. No one's died yet. Okay, we have our first death. It's on the Americans. Oh, more Americans. Oh, Japanese are now starting to die a little bit quicker. As you can see, I mean, like, originally I did this battle where it was about... Oh, wow. So, for whatever reason, these Japanese soldiers are running up. Now, bear in mind, these are modded units, so I'm not entirely sure uh, if the fact, like, how they were coded or something has anything to do with it. But I did check their stats beforehand, and uh, they definitely have a bit more damage than the Americans. And, uh, you know, they, they have, if not the same range, a little bit more, which would make sense. Uh, they should definitely have more, but I think that they were just modeled again that way i didn't really want to change the modeling or the the stats too much but it looks like the americans may be winning thus far uh it's a little bit surprising now some people might say oh well you know the the number of of troops at the beginning of the battle was incongruent eh, yes and no i mean like in this battlefield like in order to actually get the exact amount that you want on each side it's just ridiculously difficult um but you know i got very close Especially for the fact that the Japanese have the more powerful weapon. I would have expected a little bit more, but, you know, it's still up in the air. This is only one side that we see here. But for whatever reason, it looks like the American soldiers, I mean, they are falling. Bear that in mind, they are still dying. And we did have a large contingent runoff into nowhere land. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. But, okay, these guys are, for some reason, firing... It looks like behind them? No, no, they aren't. They're just being fired upon. So let's go down here. Right now, we have about a quarter of all uh, troops are dead. Look at this battlefield. It is sprawling. So this is across numerous kilometers. Miles, rather. Depends on what you want to say. Now, while that troop of, uh, of American soldiers up there lost, these guys have a lot more. We have a huge amount more Americans here, which I was not expecting. For whatever reason, the um, those ones did run. Now, we do have some Japanese soldiers here that are uh, doing a good job of actually defending. As you can see, probably has something to do with the fact that they have some nice cover. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. But they are using their cover a little bit. The ground is totally covered in Kool-Aid. We'll have to wait and see if this lake turns into a lake of blood. but Or a Kool-Aid, rather. Or Jello. Oh, there we go. We have a lake of Jello Kool-Aid. And it looks like the Japanese soldiers are pushing a bit. Bear in mind, this one, it's not out of the, uh, you know, no, no team is won yet. I mean, you have plenty dead on both sides. Uh, about half of the battle is over, however. But this is a bit closer than I expected, to be honest with you. So we have this front of Americans. And again, this is a very, very large battlefield. Genuinely a bit surprised. 
by how this is going. I mean, realistically speaking, so if you were to look at this, uh, you know, in terms of World War II, like Iwo Jima, for example, Guadalcanal, anything like that, more so Guadalcanal, I would say, you'd have smaller groups of infantry just going through the desert, or the uh, jungle, my apologies, fighting each other, rather than uh, huge fronts like this, right? Like, the, the jungle, the Pacific Theater wasn't fought like Verdun. It was fought like, um, you know, of course, well, any jungle combat would be fought. And uh, it was more about tactics rather than strategy. But, of course, strategy still played a big part in it. But, uh, you know, the individual soldiers played a, a very big part. And, uh, you know, platoons and squads and all that played a huge part. Whereas in Verdun, eh, a little bit less. Now, with that said... I'm a little bit surprised here. Now, it might be the fact that the Americans have a higher fire rate, that they are beating the Japanese like they are. Uh, but it is certainly interesting. But, uh, you know, I, I, again, I try to simulate it at least somewhat here where there were numerous groups, I mean, huge groups, but numerous groups spread out over a large portion of land. But let's go see this uh, fight here now. The Japanese, as you can see, the, the numbers are starting to dwindle, and thus casualties are starting to occur a little bit less frequently. But there's a huge pile of bodies covered in Kool-Aid. And now that the Americans are getting over this, this uh, edge, I think this is where their fire rate will come into play. Which makes a lot... Yeah, okay, yeah, as soon as they came over this edge here... They started to dominate. Now you're starting to see casualties at a much higher rate. Let's go up here. So these are all Americans. And I'm not just doing this, you know, I'm not making this like, oh, the Americans win because it's America, you know. I'm, I want to actually see who wins this, you know. I mean, this is not a given, especially with a new modded unit, one that has such a strong, um, you know, amount of damage per shot. It's difficult to say, and I think... What's going on here? These guys are just having the time of their lives. Oh, there, there's uh, some glitched Japanese soldiers here. Okay, I had to move them so that that would stop glitching. Uh, so the battle could actually commence. But with such a strong amount of damage on a per-shot basis, I'm genuinely... A Wait, are they all going towards this rock? What's going on? Okay, now they're starting to break. I, I don't know what was happening. But with the Japanese soldiers, they have such a good amount of damage on a per-shot basis that I'm actually a little bit surprised here. I think they've got about two times the damage. Maybe a little bit more, even, than the American soldiers, but it doesn't seem to have mattered uh, all too much. And further, uh, it seems as though they aren't really firing like they should be for whatever reason. Like, they definitely have the range, but they're running into a lot of these shots. So that may just be some sort of modification thing, like, uh, with the unit itself. It's a beautifully rendered unit, by the way. Like, let's get a little bit closer. These guys are, are you know, it's wonderfully rendered. Like, let's look at this in cinematic mode. Like, this is crazy. Also, I'm going to take a screenshot, because that looks really cool. But I feel like they are just not performing as well as they could be, given their stats. So that may be something. So don't just brand this video as like, Oh, this guy is American. You know, he wants every American. What? It's like the Americans didn't win all the time. I mean, like, look at the Battle of the Philippines, for example. Uh, the, the, the initial one. Um, Pearl Harbor, you know, even. Um, you know, we were outfoxed. In, in many ways, are outplayed, you know, even Wake Island. But Wake Island, you know, I'm not going to trash on that because Wake Island, that was a hell of a defense by the Americans. It looks like the Japanese may have actually won over here. They overran the Americans. See? It's not just solely the, uh, you know, the Americans winning every single engagement here. There are still a lot of Japanese left. A lot of Japanese soldiers, infantrymen left. So, oh, wow. This seems to be the bulk of them. So we may be seeing a final battle coming here 
soon enough. I'm not sure where the Americans are. Obviously, these guys don't know where the Americans are either. But, uh... Wow. So soon enough, they're going to be uh, running towards each other. And, and uh, you know... Oh, it looks like they are now. The Japanese are moving out towards the Americans, I assume. Let's go over here to the Americans, which is where I'm assuming they're running to. Past the things of Kool-Aid, and then we'll just kind of do a time skip forward in the video. Oh, yeah, here are the Americans. We are going to see a final engagement here. At least what I assumed would be a final engagement. There are still minor skirmishes happening. It seems I can't really... Oh, here we go. Here's somewhere that I didn't notice before. Looks like it is destruction on a small scale, but the Americans have won pretty much as I came over here. So pretty interesting. But let's go skip forward to the last engagement, what I'm assuming is the last engagement, with that huge group of Japanese soldiers that's running down the hill. 58,000 of them, which, I mean, if they just fight small, like, groups of American soldiers like this and just take out the Americans piecemeal, the Japanese could still win this. They could still win this because they have the numbers advantage when fighting. Isn't that so, so weird, though? It just seems like they're getting really way too close. I just think that's a modeling issue. Or coding issue, rather. Okay, here we are. It looks like this may be the final... Oh, yeah, this is going to be the final skirmish. We have the huge forces of Japanese and American soldiers finally converging here. And it looks like the Japanese are charging up the hill, but the Americans have the high ground. This is dangerous, and this is exactly kind of what I was thinking actually might happen, unfortunately, where the Japanese now have the low ground. This is not going to be good for them especially being forced at such close range to have to go up against such crazy firepower. But the Americans are still falling. Bear that in mind. The assault troopers are still falling. So this is not a... Get oh my gosh. Like, look at that. This is definitely one of the crazier battles I've ever done. Originally, like I said, this was supposed to be a much smaller, you know, half a million, two, you know, two groups of American soldiers, two groups of Japanese soldiers, straight line, five minute battle. This, I'm glad I did this. Wow. So let's zoom out a little bit here. We can see the front line actually happen. Wow. And here we are. The assault, the the main group of American soldiers now numbers quite a bit over two times the group of Japanese soldiers. And it is killing my FPS a little bit, but no biggie. Because this is more than worth it. We have now at this point, the Americans are pretty much on the high ground. They're starting to push back on the Japanese on this side, which means that the that the Japanese soldiers that are able to go up this hill will be more number or uh, will be cut down even more quickly, which means that these guys will be able to advance like they are a little bit more, keep on the high ground, then just start firing down, and that'll just wipe out the rest of them. But this is 
absolutely wild. I did not expect this much Kool-Aid. Gelatin, whatever. It is... Mind-boggling in, in a sense. You know, like, this is really... Something else. Where it's like, yeah, occasionally having the... the Sea Wiz, the CIWS, Phalanx, you know, fighting millions of zombies, that's fun. But this... This is something else. Not, I didn't expect this. And even though I think that the Japanese soldiers, maybe they're supposed to, to even do like a, uh, a uh, bayonet charge. I'm not sure. And they just don't have that, that functionality built in. I'm not sure. Maybe that's why they kind of run in or and then take a shot sometimes. But this is still, it's not like they didn't do damage. They put in a heck of amount of damage and, uh, wow. Wow. Even though, obviously, it's it's clear who's going to win here. Wow. So let's just kind of go back over here. Focus on this front line that's just still a massacre. You have piles. Absolute piles of bodies. It's just shocking in many ways. Wow. And here we have it. The stragglers are being mowed down by what seems like it's because of superior firepower, or fire, fire rate rather. I think that's what made the difference here. And maybe, maybe a touch of, of weird coding on the modeling part. I'm not sure about that. But what I can tell you is that it seems like eventually the faster fire rate of the American Tommy guns probably won out here. Because... Wow. You still have a, a few stragglers left. I mean, the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in this video or if it was like, you know, something I'm kind of imagining here. But back in the 70s, uh, the early 70s, there was a Japanese holdout. Uh, he was on an island and he was raiding local villages for supplies. He was, he so thought that the war was going on and he refused to accept that the war was over even into his 19 or into the uh his 50s right like until he was in his 50s i think it was hiro onodi and uh wrote i uh, forget the exact his exact name but he finally i guess was told in like 1973 that world war ii was over um so you know even though he was an exceptional case and there are still uh anecdotal stories of japanese soldiers lasting until even beyond that uh you know nothing's confirmed so he's the latest one that they ever found and i think that they found a few up through the 50s and 60s even so it's not like it was like you know 1945 and then just that guy there were there were some others uh that were confirmed throughout the years after world war ii but man what a what a life and they became a farmer afterwards so good for him but obviously here we have it. It looks like the end of the line here for this battle. It's basically just one last charge. Still a crazy amount of firepower. But ever since the American and Japanese forces basically consolidated with themselves. Um, it seems as though we have rather than like a whole bunch of different lines and groups of soldiers. Now just huge formations of soldiers. Which of course is how this game is programmed to be. So, it looks like, obviously, the Japanese have lost. They are just trickling in. There are a few that can kind of get down from this hill, but it looks like they're kind of stuck here. So, again, I'm just going to call it here. The Japanese have lost. I'll keep recording, but, uh, you know, just kind of skip forward to the very end. But either way, thanks so much for watching. Please, if you don't mind, if you like this sort of video, consider liking 
consider commenting i appreciate all of those subscriptions are greatly appreciated uh, appreciated as well of course i appreciate all of that but either way thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone